Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to create the Excel file where we will calculate the sign area of polynomially parameterized curve for arbitrary polynomials. And first of all, let me explain the idea of what we are going to do. Assume we have two polynomials, arbitrary polynomials of degree r. Then we know that the sign area from 0 to 1 uh, of the corresponding curve can be written like this and then if we expand these sums uh, this is the linear combination of the simple sign areas for simple polynomials uh, and the coefficients are the products of the corresponding coefficients and we know that by the fundamental formula we can calculate these simple sign areas as follows um, with the agreement that uh, if n and if n and m are both zeros, uh, this quantity is just zero. And in the example we are going to consider, we will take r equals 4. And in the Excel file, we will make the following table. Let me explain um, what we have in this table. The first line of the table um, consists of the coefficients of the first polynomial p. The second line the corresponding degrees of the coefficients. Uh, the first column consists of the coefficients of the second polynomial and the second column consists of corresponding degrees of alphas. Okay, and <clears throat> here we have uh, the summons of this sum. Uh, for example, zeros zeros summoned is a zero b zero as from 0 to 1, alpha to 0, alpha to 0. For example, um, the number in the third column and the second line is a 3 times b2 as 0 from 0 to 1, alpha to the 3, and alpha to the 2. Okay? So, we will make this table now in the Excel. Uh, and we will consider the following example. Uh, the first polynomial is this polynomial of degree 4, and the second one is this polynomial. And first thing that we do, we enter the coefficients of these polynomials. In the first line, we enter the coefficients of the first polynomial. This is 2, 3, 1, minus 2, minus 4. 2, 3, 1, minus 2, minus 4. Sorry, we don't need this part here. And um, in the first column, we enter the coefficients of the second polynomial. This is 1, 1, minus 2, 3, 5. 1, 1, minus 2, 3, 5. And also we enter the corresponding degrees. Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? And now we will construct this part of the table. Okay, we will enter in this one, in this cell, we will enter the product of the coefficients, these this coefficients, times the corresponding sign area. Let's start. Press enter. This times this times. And using the fundamental formula, we must take here n minus m. That is this power minus this power divided by 2 times the sum of the degrees, right? So this one plus this one. Press enter. And of course we have here division by 0, therefore it's undefined value. But for us now it doesn't matter since we will repeat the same formula everywhere okay now if we will try to repeat the formula for example in the next cell you see that here it must be the product of these two coefficients but you see that the excel took automatically e5 times c7 so e e5 times c7 we need e4 right Therefore, we need to, s to tell Excel do not change this 
uh, number of the cell right okay let me delete it first to do this we will use dollar sign it means that please do not change this for okay now if we will repeat you see here we have e4 that's correct that's what we need okay and similarly you see that we need to use here this power and this power but excel you d7 and e6 d7 is correct e6 is incorrect therefore in front of six we also need to add dollar sorry dollar sign um, so d d6 e and here we need to add the dollar sign okay now if we will repeat it let me check it e4 times c7 e4 times c7 d7 minus e5 d7 minus e5 over 2 times d7 plus e5 <coughs> so everything is correct now we can repeat the same formula everywhere okay now we need to go to the right and again here we must have this cell sorry this cell and this cell but excel use f4 times d6 f4 is okay but d6 is wrong right we need c6 so we we don't have to change this d okay so we tell excel please do not change the c and similarly here please do not change this d okay now if we repeat we will get correct formula f4 times c6 d6 minus f5 d6 minus f5 over 2 times d6 plus f5 so everything's right now we repeat it everywhere sorry we don't need this one okay so now we have constructed we have constructed this part of the table these are the summons of this sum now we need to sum up everything so in excel we have this nice tool summation but the only thing is we need to change this cell it should be zero right and now we sum up everything we need these cells okay and the answer is here okay now let me show you that the answer is in fact correct if you enter this gamma into GeoGebra here and calculate the sine area from 0 to 1 this blue area is the sine area we will get this value 14.82 okay so so our answer is correct okay now if you want for example uh, if you have polynomials of higher degree how we can modify this file uh, to high degrees polynomials let me do delete this one for example we have also fifth power and with some coefficients a six okay we just repeat the same process very easy and we sum up all these cells that's it okay and finally if you have uh, for example this this table but you have polynomials of lower degrees for example here you have only alpha to the three then you just put here zero and that's it you have the same area of uh, 
corresponding curve with lower degree polynomials. Okay, this is all for this vi video. I am Anna Tamskova. Thanks for listening.